Hello everybody, hope they are good. You won't believe what just happened to me. I was I just finished recording the video and then you know I went to Sony Vegas to edit and I noticed that I didn't record any audio. So I have to re record again this video, okay? But anyway guys, it's fine. Um let me tell you what I think, okay? In the past days we've been talking about the idea that we're inside this range, okay? These are your range highs, your range lows, this is your um mid range, okay? And then these two dotted orange lines they are the uh, range quarters okay that you can see how they act as support and resistance okay so that's what i think i think that we are in this range now in the last video we were talking about the idea that this was a deviation okay and i didn't like how the chart looked why because first you got uh here you, there was a lot of liquidations between 31,700 and 31,800 and you can see that price, you know, took that liquidity and then dumped, get back inside the range, go to the one hour time frame, okay? Go back inside the range. This was the consolidation and the resistance that I was talking about, then short, okay? So I took my short here, uh, 31,414 it was, okay? I just, it's a swing short, I'm still riding that short. I took some profits now, of course because price dumped quite a lot, but I'm still riding that swing short, okay? Um, now, a little tip for you guys. How can you get some confluence that this was a false move, okay? Go into the daily time frame, okay? What do you see here? Let me tell you. Uh, I see here a lot of wicks here, okay? So this was a zone that the market maker kept, pr kept pushing price up to. Okay, but I didn't break this zone. Now with this large green candle, you know, it got everybody so excited, but the problem that I got here is that it didn't manage to break through this zone. Okay, and if you also check the volume, let me show you, look at the volume of this huge green candle, okay? That got everybody excited, okay? Look at this volume. It's very low. It's not enough, okay? It's not much. I'll tell you, okay? When you see a clear resistance, and then you see, you know, a large green candle. What you wanna see first is this large green candle to break through this resistance with a la with a big spike in volume, okay? And I'm telling you a spike, that's higher than this at least, okay? A spike maybe up to here, not to here, okay? So that, it's another a bit of confluence to the idea that this was a false move up that got retraced immediately, okay? That was, you know, this move up, this deviation is pure manipulation, okay? Now, uh, go back to the four hour time frame. Let me remove this uh, volume indicator. Um, again, I'm not a volume trader, but sometimes it can give you some confluence, okay? To see where the manipulation is. Now, you know, you've got the deviation at one of the ends of the range, then the most likely scenario is that you see a breakout in the other end of the range, okay? And that would be to the lows. Uh, this is what I think in the bigger picture. I think that you know, if I have to choose between a breakout to the upside or to the downside, I'm going to choose to the downside. Why? Because you can see here um, how they've taken the liquidity at the highs. Okay, That's uh, one of the ideas. And also, I've been telling you about this. Going to the one hour time frame, I'm going to show you what I see. Okay, They want to see here at the range highs are uh, well, many large green candles and wicks that can retrace immediately. Okay? Let me show you. Latin candle gets retrace. Latin candle retrace again. A week. Let's continue a bit more. Okay. You go here another week. Gets retraced. Go again here. Okay. Latin candles here. Gets retraced. Latin candle gets retraced. Let's continue a bit more. Okay. Latin candle retrace. Latin candle retrace. Okay. Do you keep seeing that over and over again? Okay. Now, you might say, you could say the same for the downside. Can you really? Okay, let me show you the examples. You got one example here, one example here, one here, and one here. So you go to the downside. Four examples. Okay, but in the range highs, how many you got? Ten? I don't know how many. I haven't counted them, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine examples. Okay. So this is clearly saying to me that the market maker is building his shorts at the range highs. Okay, that's what I think. Let me remove all of this. Okay, that's also why I think that if we see a breakout, I'm sorry, 
for everybody that, that got super excited here, I think the breakout is going to go to the downside, okay? And that's something that I've been saying since, you know, we've been back here. Okay, I was telling you the idea that price should push up, get the deviation, hit all those liquidations, okay? Range uh, or consolidate on the resistance, drop, and then the next part of the plan would be a breakout to the downside, okay? Uh, so that is still my plan. That is still what I think, guys, okay? Uh, now, let's go in, back into to the four-hour time frame. Where do I think that price, you know, could find some support? Well, if I look at the chart, this one here, okay, is the zone where I think we could find sh some support, hopefully, okay? Here you go, some resistance that hasn't been tested as support yet, I think. So that's what I think that, you know, if we see, you know, the breakout that I'm talking about to the downside, then this is a zone where you could find some uh, support and then, you know, you could see a little bounce. I mean, also you could see a deviation here, get back inside, okay, here, and then you could aim for the range lows. The same scenario, okay, these deviations, they play out quite nicely. So, again, if we see now a breakout below the range lows, but they manage to get back into the range, test their support, then I'm telling you I'm longing here to the mid range, okay? So that's another possibility, uh, but in the bigger picture, you know, you might see another deviation here, um, I don't know, or some consolidation here, even a push up. But in the bigger picture, I think we're going to break to the downside, to be honest, uh, just to be clear with you guys. Uh, now, let's go into high block capital. Let's see where the liquidity is first, okay? But uh, now for the day traders, no, don't let me forget. If we go into the one hour time frame, this is... Uh, a trade setup that I'm looking for today, well, between today and tomorrow, because the market looks quite weak, looks quite slow. So I don't even know if it's going to play out, but this is a trigger that I'm going to tell you for a trade setup, okay? You can see that we are under the one hour 50 MA here, okay? We've been tested multiple times, and usually when this happens, okay, you're going to see the little trader, they're going to notice this, because the 50 MA is quite a common uh, EMA, to be honest. They're going to notice, okay, you know, this is the main resistance, so I'm going to place more shorts into this zone, okay? Because I'm expecting the price comes low, okay? So in one of these attempts, what the market maker is going to do is, well, he's going to notice, okay? There is quite a lot of shorts limit orders placed in the 1 or 50 May. What about if I, you know, push price up, test the support, this is where you can enter along, okay? And then continue pushing up. So anybody that is, you know, placing a limit order here, a short limit order, they're gonna be trapped. They're gonna get stopped here, okay? So this is a uh, long trade setup scenario. Wait for a push up, you know, the retrace. Then you can long here, and you can aim, you know, for the mid range again. If you manage to get back inside the uh, above the mid range, sorry, you know, that's another long to the range quarter. Also. You have here the confluence that there are some liquidity pools here at the left. Okay, you go one there here and another one here, okay? So, I mean, there is reason for price to push up again, okay? Uh, maybe not again to the range highs, but why not? You know, we, we could retrace these liquidity pools first. Um, but for that again, you need to clear the 1 or 50 MA, test it as support, and then, you know, you can long... Uh, with more confidence because now to be honest as i've told you it's looking pretty slow pretty weak so um i don't think you want to you know long blindly here you need to see some confirmation like this retrace for example okay uh that's one idea i'm also gonna go now to high block capital i'm gonna see if high block capital could consider what well, could favor the idea of a shorter squeeze to the upside okay because i think that with the 1 or 50 ma we got enough reasons, probably, to push up a bit. Okay, we're in high block capital, liquidation levels, and you can see the delta, $12 billion worth of short liquidations, okay? Um, when we were at 31,600 or so, uh, the delta was sowing $15 billion worth of long liquidations, and then they reversed, okay? Now you got a very similar amount, you got 12. 
instead of 15 okay so yeah there is quite a lot of liquidity to the upside okay look at the spikes at the right in this chart okay all the spikes are to the upside these are basically high leverage shorts okay you can see them here targets that i can see of course uh this one does the closest target you got here let me show you there 30,127 that's quite close from here but also you go here uh this one 30,800 okay you know just put it in that one you would have a uh, gone i think to the top quarter of the range and also fill at least one liquidity pool so that would be a good target okay to close uh along if you can manage you know the entry with the 50 ma retrace okay now if we go into the liquidation heat map this is the seven days time frame in the sunday update that i posted on twitter i was telling you that there is a lot of liquidity to the downside okay you can set those yellow bars now yesterday they hit those liquidations okay there is still a lot more liquidity to the downside you can see 29,200. that's right below the range lows okay so um the question that i ask myself is is this enough liquidity you know just to push price down straight away or is it possible that we see some more consolidation like we are saying now because uh to be honest this is just consolidation okay just to increase the liquidity here okay uh that would make more sense to me so uh how do i say this okay um in the bigger picture we're gonna go here we're gonna probably break uh below the range and take this liquidity but for short term and with short term i mean today and tomorrow it's likely the price consolidates a bit even also it's quite likely that we see a short squeeze to stop all the shorts before pushing price down again okay uh that's what i think so that's pretty much everything that i think i'm gonna take you now to the order book let's check the order book you can see that we are between two big liquidity zones okay you go to the downside 29,500 with 265 bitcoins in form of buy limit orders uh stop losses and liquidations okay uh long liquidations and then to the upside you got a smaller amount that is 30,500 with 183 bitcoins okay so now you can see the price is right between these two zones has to make its mind up to see what zone is gonna go okay before i finish the video and say goodbye to you guys i wanted to say that if you support the content of course you can give a like a comment a subscribe that's good for the algorithm so the video shows to other users in youtube but also of course you can register with the referral link in the description in budget okay it's an exchange that doesn't require kyc unless if you are in the us uh, canada or singapore i think uh, you get five dollar bonus when you log in also if you deposit at least a hundred dollars you're going to participate in uh, the next giveaways of the trading course also um, deposit over 200 dollars get 10 percent payback that means that if you for example uh, deposit let's say 500 dollars then you're gonna get 50 dollars back and of course you know if you, depo if you deposit bigger amounts then you get bigger rewards okay bigger pay bigger paybacks all right so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon